Okay, this is my DIY RO unit flushing system thing. It's connected to my main RO machine, which is just a 75 gallon per day standard osmotics supplied unit. Um, and basically what my unit here does is it manages the flushing of the RO machine. So where you usually have your standard uh, ball valve about there, this thing here replaces that and automatically flushes the RO machine membrane before usage and then again after uh, after you finish using the system. Um, at the moment, it's off. As you can see, and uh, what I've done here, I've got a barrel, small 10 litre barrel, and I am going to use this to hopefully show you how it works. So if we turn the, uh, if we turn it on, so if I turn the pull valve on, the system should automatically kick in and start flushing because we want some arrow so there we go and it's finished there meanwhile this is preparing to run flushing it's begun flushing if we take a look at the TDS reading it's currently 22 ppm and rising and I've set that to run for 5 minutes so the standard flush takes 5 minutes that's 5 minutes before production and 5 minutes after production so it's now 40 ppm and it should continue to climb as the membrane is flushed. The output, whilst it's on, nothing is coming out because the system has turned all of that off and is currently flushing. So I think I'll leave that there and I'll pick up this video again in a couple minutes time. Okay, a few seconds to go with the flushing and the TDS level is currently 38. It's coming back down and we are still waiting for output now after it finishes flushing it diverts to waste for 90 seconds and the point of that is to allow the membrane to do its thing whilst waiting for the TDS levels to climb back down so it's currently 22 ppm, 20 ppm. It's not that bad because I did the other video before this one. But on a, if I haven't run it for some time, it can go way up to over 100 ppm. So this is dropped to an acceptable level. It's currently 12, 11. And 30 seconds to go. 10. So at this point, I'd be happy turning the, the DI stage back on and allowing it to run through. 10 is acceptable. I usually run at around 8 or 9, I think. If we give it 
few more seconds we should be able to get yep down to nine five seconds to go and it should start running Yes, it's currently nine, which is not bad for my usual levels, which is which are about nine, which is not very good. I think there's something wrong with my membrane, perhaps, but nine is what I'm used to at the moment so this unit here has done what, it's need, what, what it should have done anyway so we've been running for almost a minute and this will run indefinitely until we turn off the system and that can be done oops that can be done by either turning off this valve or if it's connected to a uh, one of those uh, auto shut off uh, switch valve things which achieves the same thing it basically raises the pressure again so if we turn this off now should take a few seconds for the pressure to climb till it realizes it's off and it starts cleaning up by flushing for another five minutes now if I decide to resume my production it will skip the flushing divert for a while in case the TDS climbed, which look it did. So it will allow the TDS to climb for a bit. Resettle to a decent level. And then it will resume the normal operation. So the TDS is coming back down again. Another 50 seconds and it will resume the production and I think I programmed it to uh, to basically if if the uh, if the system had run within the last five minutes or ten minutes something like that then it will do a quick flush which is about a minute, a minute flush instead of the usual five minutes so because we resumed immediately i.e. within the minute it skipped the flush altogether and it just diverted for a bit and then it will be ready to start production again if we stopped for five minutes I think then it would do a quick flush for 60 seconds and then start uh, and then do a divert and then start production Okay, so we're done here with the demonstration, so we'll turn that off. And that should detect shortly due to the high pressure building up that we don't need any more RO water. And it should start the post production flush which is a full flush of five minutes
Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's going to finish the cleaning up flush. And when that's done, everything turns off. And it will stay off and consume very little power. So all the relays will be turned off, all the switches are off, everything is in an off state uh, until we request some more RO, I'm just going to open the ball valve again and it all kicks off again and that's it